13 people are confirmed dead, two others missing after a South Korean fishing boat collided with a refueling tanker on Sunday. Authorities are still carrying out search and rescue operations. Two crew members from the tanker are detained on suspicion of negligence. Kim mo gets us up to speed with the developments. A fishing boat named Sun Chang Won crashed into a 336 ton tanker before capsizing waters near Incheon City's Yonghung Island at around 6 10 a.m. on Sunday. The Coast Guard believe the fishing boat and the tanker cruised side by side in narrow waters, possibly leading to the crash. Officials detained the captain and another member of the tank's crew on charges of professional negligence resulting in death. The captain was found to be behind the tanker steering wheel in the wheelhouse, while the other crewman, who was also on duty, was confirmed to have been outside the wheelhouse when the boats collided. The Coast Guard planned to question the two and seek an arrest warrant for them by Tuesday. Meanwhile, the search for the remaining two missing people is still underway 24 hours after the accident, and the Ocean's Ministry is operating a task force to handle the situation. We have been holding search operations near the site of the incident by deploying five planes overnight to drop 408 flares over the waters and by mobilizing nearly 40 vessels for the search, but we were not able to find the missing people. More than 1,300 people have joined the search operation, including some 700 police officers, 130 soldiers and 80 divers. The residents of Yonghung Island have also stepped in to help. Right from when the collision happened, many residents who work in the fishing industry gave up their daily business and canceled reservations for their fishing boats to head to sea and join relief operations. Experts say there could still be hope that the missing could be found alive as it is still within the first 72 hours since the incident. Kim Mo-kyun, Arirang News.